Well, hello, hello, hello. It is such a privilege to be here today. This is our last day of the prayer challenge, day 52. Let me give me a little bit of light. We want the light to shine in today. We want God's word to illuminate us. Not sure who is going to be here today, but this is day 52. I'm excited about this because we have gone through 52 days of praying at 1245. And so I'm excited about you being here. Let me just jump right in. Today, Genesis, the 50th chapter and the 24th verse, we're ending Genesis. And this is Joseph talking to his brothers. Um, he says, I'm about to die, but God will certainly come to your aid and bring you up from the land to the land he promised, from this land to the land he promised to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And our focus today is on God coming to our aid. That's where we're going to be. And he does. But we have to continue to have conversations with him. And we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. So let me go ahead and pray that God does come to your aid, whatever that aid is, whatever it, in ministry you need a good assistance in, God coming to your aid. So let's go ahead and bow. Most gracious Father, we come before your throne. We have had the privilege over the last few days to really come in and come closer. We've had the opportunity to whisper to you when we were crying without words. We had the opportunity to let you know just what heartache and headaches we were having, the anxiety, the worries that we were dealing with. We've had the opportunity to release it all. Lord, we ask that you intervene in our situations. We prayed for sicknesses. We prayed for them to go away. We prayed for healing. We prayed for our children. We prayed for orphans. We prayed for other countries. We prayed for our leaders. God, we have prayed for our families and we have prayed for ourselves. We have come before you, Lord, asking that you step in. And we continue to ask you to step in. Thank you for allowing us the opportunity to, to lay on your couch and to find comfort, to pour out our, all our troubles because you are our great counselor. We've been able to bring it all before you because you sit high and you look low and you see from a different vantage point. And we recognize, Lord, where you sit allows you to see more. You know our end before the beginning. You know what steps we need to take and we need your wisdom. We need you to sometimes show us, but at least direct us, guide us. And we're so grateful that you will do all of those things for us. Lord, we ask that you come to our aid to take us to the place that we need to go the promised place for each and every one of us. We don't want to settle. We don't want to just survive. We want to thrive. We want to have the abundant life that you promised us. In 3 John 2, you said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. So as our mind is renewed, God, help us to renew it so that we might be able to level up. He said, our mind, our will, help us to align our will with yours and our emotions. Help us to tame that emotional roller coaster and not just operate just from the seat of our pants. But Father, we want to operate based on your word. Direct us appropriately. We're going to be so careful, God, to give you all the glory because you're so deserving. We thank you. That over the past weeks, we've had opportunity to develop our relationship with you even the more. And I pray for each and every person who listens to this, no matter when they do, that you will and they will sense the, the need, the necessity for a deeper and a closer relationship with you, that they will be 
drawn in even the more, that they will pour out even the more, that they will receive, they will manifest, they will see the results and they will identify all the answered prayers that you have done. And in so doing that their faith will be increased, that their time with you will be increased, that the results to answer prayer will be increased, that they will pray more specifically and effectively, that it will be fervent prayers that avail much. God, I pray for them that their relationship with you be taken to a, a, a higher level, a deeper level, that there will be an understanding like we're laying on a couch, but a friend's couch, talking with a friend that loves us more than we love ourselves because that's who you are. Talking with a good, good father that wants only the best for his children and everything that you do is for our good and for your glory, that, that we would not lack anything, that we would not struggle or strain for anything, but that we would lean into your grace and your mercy, that we would lean in, God, because we know your goodness and your faithfulness are going to follow us that we would lean in knowing that you're protecting us and providing that you are our champion, leaning in, oh God. We thank you for that. For your counsel is sure, it's comforting. And yes, sometimes you will move us out of our comfort zone, but God, we want to go to that promised land that you have for each one of us. We want the better on the other side of bitter. We want something different, the triumph on the other side of the trials. We want the testimony on the other side of the test. We want it all. God, and as we fight on our knees, we ask that you strengthen our hands and our feeble knees. Help us to fight in the right way because we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but of principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and high places. God, we fight with you. We tell you because you care for us. We tell you all about it because we don't want to be anxious. We tell you so that we can have your peace. Thank you. Thank you for coming to our aid. We count it a privilege to be able to come to your throne, but we count it also a privilege to have you intervene in our lives for our loved ones, to intercede on our behalf, to intercede into our family members. God, just show us how we need to pray for others. Thank you for that. We're gonna continue to lift your name on high and worship you, our sovereign Lord, our King, our mighty God. It's in Jesus, this wonderful name that we do pray and give you thanks. Amen. Well, let me say this to you, um, beloved. I am so grateful for this time that we've had. And my prayer again is that your relationship with the Lord has increased. It's important for you to be on the couch, have that couch experience with him but it's also important for you to be in community. And so I am going to be releasing today, probably changing just a little bit. I want you to be able to be notified when this new book is coming out, the prayer book. It's the Divinely Connected series, Praying Through Life Struggles. And I know we pray through the book of Genesis. That's going to be in there as well. There will be some links. I'm going to put them and make them available on YouTube. So I'm going to drop that link again for you to subscribe to that channel. I'll see if I can do specifically the, pray, the prayer playlist that you will be able to do that. But I also want you to register um, to be notified when this book comes out. It, it's gonna, I'm going to have a, uh, some free giveaway days and I want you to be able to get it. Um, because you will find, I hope, no, my prayer is that you will recognize the beauty of being able to communicate with the creator of the entire universe, that you will see the necessity of being able to commune with him, asking for his wisdom and his intervention, and that the result is going to be 
that not only does your relationship be revolutionized in your prayer life, but your life is going to be at a whole different level that you will get this promised land that we just prayed for. So I'm excited about that. So let me say this, have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless, but make sure you look for the links that I do have um, in the comments so that you can partake of every single thing that is here. It has truly been my pleasure. Dr. Shantae Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries. I, you know, I help you put feet to your face so that you can walk victoriously. And that today is on that prayer and making them effective. I want you to be fervent about it. I want you to recognize just how good it is, what a privilege it is, and also see the results coming from it. Have a fantastic rest of your day. God bless.